In this video I want to show you how you can quickly incorporate these details into the node tree with the help of power grades. Later in the video I will also talk about an update to my color shift details. If we want to apply a detail to a node, we have to scroll down in the library until we find detail. Or we can type detail into the search field at the top. After we have dragged the effect onto our node, we now have to select the right detail from the detail list. After that we want to rename the node to something like U-Shift. These steps are quite time consuming. A more efficient solution is to create a power grade. Here in the edit page I simply select the title and drag it into the timeline. Then I write U-Shift DZTL. I have to convert the title into a compound node so it will be visible in the color page. Now I create a node with the DZTL and rename the node to U-Shift. As a next step I create a new power grade album in the gallery. Right click at Power Grade Album. With a double click, I can rename this album to DZTLs. Now I right click here and click on Grab Still. Now I have saved this node with the DZTL in it as a Power Grade. If I now want to insert a DZTL here in this clip, I can now simply drag and drop the Power Grade onto a node and the DZTL shows up and the node also already has the correct name. You can also save several DZTLs in one power grade. When I drag this power grade into my node tree, I add directly 5 DZTLs to my node tree. You only have to set it up once and it will save you a lot of time. Then I would like to mention that there is now a new DZTL in my color shift pack a DZTL for brightness, with this DZTL you can now brighten individual U values. With the color shift DZTLs you can brighten U values, shift U values, increase saturation using a subtractive method, add color density and more. All in a very broad way without producing any grayish colors. So we are maintaining the richness of the images as they were originally captured. If you want to learn more about color shift, be sure to visit my website and take a look at the videos here on my channel. That's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and see you next time.